everyone welcome back to my channel I thought I would go ahead and do a quick small haul of a few supplies that I got recently Here we go, it's the Lyra from Germany Rembrandt Polycolor Pencils. Let's see if I can get rid of some of that glare. Yes. Okay. And I got some skin tones as well to try those out. So we can swatch those after we open these. like we have a sleeve on top yes there we go and let's dive in oh nice have the cardboard holders looks like we have a splendor blender looks like a nice selection of colors it's like this one is broken we'll fix that There we go. This color, Papa John Red. Okay, let's swatch those in a minute. First, I wanna open up the other skin tones. And these are color giants. And let's get some paper to swatch those as well. skin tone so far I don't see that it gives them a color name unless I'm missing it nice wooden pencils
Definitely got some dark tones in there, that's good. Let me put these to the side for a moment. And let's get into some of these. So I've been wanting to get a matchstick mouse book and I finally decided to get the autumn one in preparation for the fall. Oh, how cute. So cute. I know there's quite a few flip throughs on these matchstick mouse books all. But I love that there's not a ton to color that it can be a smaller project. We all need those in between the larger ones. Really cute. Oh, super sweet. <laughs> oh, these are going to be fun. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, that's Matchstick Mouse, an autumn coloring book. And then I went ahead and got a million cute animals. Again, I know there are some flip throughs. And this is from Lulu Mayo. These are on both sides, so I will probably use dry media rather than wet. These are so cute. <laughs> Love it. There's a nice cake. That looks fun. Adorable pages. And it's a smaller book. So it's a good travel size. Again, that's a million cute animals. And then I got Inky Ocean. Helen Elliston. have some thinner paper on these. Have a mermaid. And a bunch of items here. Some skulls. An old shoe and some cute fish. Mirror the design. That's interesting. Pop goes the cork. There's an interesting octopus page. Some shells. A key. I wonder if it would open a chest. That looks like a fun seahorse page. Oh, that would be fun to do the bubbles. For sure. Again, paper's a little on the thin side. All three of these came from Amazon that I got. Look at this one. That would keep you busy for a while. So yeah, it's a cute book, Inky Ocean by Helen Alliston. Now let's see if we can do some swatches. I have this big book of color charts. 
and I've marked the page here for the Lyra. So let's see if we can get some here. Let's start out with Vermilion, and it looks like there's a corresponding number here. There it is, 17 and 17 right here. So let's try this one. I always do a light coat over the whole square first and go in a little heavier on the left. very smooth very nice and it's a nice size fits in the hand nice let's do a purple let's see what we have magenta and that is number 34 so let's do that one Go in heavier on the left. Very pretty color. Very easy to go down too. Shall we pick a blue? Let's try this blue. And that is a number 48. Let's see here, we've got true blue. Going heavier. Super silky smooth to go down on this paper anyway. You can build the color up, it looks like. So yeah, that's some of those. Maybe we could try some of the skin tones here. Let's try some of the skin tones. All right. Let's pick a light and a medium and a dark. And again, there doesn't appear to be a color code on these, so I might put something on these, a sticker or something, and name them myself. But here goes the lighter one. Let's do that right here.
Looks like it's buildable also. So there's the light. And then let's go with the medium. And a dark. You can see I'm able to build up that color. Let me go heavier on the second one. And the first, the lighter. Looks like kind of a peachy tone. Yeah, they look good. I'll have to try that on the next portrait. Try those out. Now I'm thinking about what will sharpen these. Probably my electric that I use. I'll have to try that out. Let's see, it shows on here. Extra thick lead, 6.3 millimeter of diameter, break resistant, the most brilliant colors, long wearing. The PEFC logo guarantees that the wood and pencils comes from forests managed in an appropriate and sustainable, sustainable manner. That's on those. And what else can we read about the regular Lyra? Let's see. Top quality artist pencil for artists, graphic artists, designers, and architects. A choice of 78 colors allows the user to fully explore their creativity. The, this outstanding selection offers the widest possible color range from strong full tones to the most delicate nuances. Their brilliance, light, and water resistance and the particular smoothness of the leads meet the highest demands. These artist pencils enable the user to achieve the exact colors, high brilliance, and great results. And there are the colors swatched on the box. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with these. If any of you have these, I would love to know what you think about them and if you've colored anything with them that you'd like to share. And I'll have to mark this page so I can fill it up off camera. And then the last thing I'm going to share is a whip that I'm doing from Imagimorphia. Let's see if I can get down, there we go. This is one that I've been working on. I just got a new laptop to edit my videos and so I'm learning all of the video editing software on there. And then I have a proper camera that I'm learning all of its functions as well to be able to bring some bigger, brighter videos, uh, hopefully. So I'll have a little bit of a learning curve but until then I figured I would show, I was editing a video of me actually coloring this, but it is taking a really long time to transfer the clips from my phone to the computer doing that. So once I have learned all that, then I'll be able to do some color alongs, which I'm hoping to do soon. And hopefully that will be some fun on this channel. And I'll just zoom in here a little bit. Got some glitter on the owl. 
and the butterfly has some of the nouveau drops I did these I believe yes and I probably will have more glitter on the page there's some here in the clock if you can see there and I've just been working on the leaves and here's the dragon and I have a dragon there to do so yeah and this started out with some watercolor so yeah anyway that's the whip that I'm working on this week and hopefully we'll come back and have some fun color along videos and anything else that you'd like to see I was going to do a watercolor with comparisons of the different salts I had promised someone had asked for that I will do just want to get all of my equipment sorted so that that's not an issue for me and then not transferring to you while watching so I hope you have a fantastic day and happy coloring bye now